May the rolls be ever in our favor. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Bree and this is Four Paws in a Book. Today, Scattagorathon is going spooky. For this week, I am letting Scattagories choose my TBR. This is a Patreon-only readathon where we have six prompts, six letters, and you roll the dice and see what you get. Chaos essentially. For those of you that are new to my channel, this is the TBR game that I used to play before Kerplunk and I retired it because I wanted to try something new, but I still loved it so we made it a Patreon readathon. We do it four times a year for every season and for this one it is spooky season. There are six prompts, six letters, and we're going to roll a dice and see what we get. I am using my really cool like spooky dice. They have um, they actually have a dragon on them, so I guess it's not spooky, it's fantasy, but I got them for spooky season. <laughs> There's a lot of games that I am playing this month, so I wanted new dice. Okay, so let's get our first roll. All right, we have, is it gonna work? A two, I don't know if you can see that, but we do have a two, and uh, let's find out what that prompt is. All right, so this prompt is under the covers, a book that scares you. That can be interpreted in any different direction. It could be an actual horror book, something that is actually scary, or a big book, a book that you've been putting off because of low ratings, whatever. It can be a multitude of things. <laughs> so now let's find a letter, and then basically whatever letter we have, one word of the title has to start with that letter. All right, and we got a three, and that is an A. So let's see what we got. Okay, I actually had too many options. It's fine, um, but I think what I'm gonna go with is the Amer it's American Rapture by CJ Lee. I read Mayfly back at the beginning of the year, and it wasn't my favorite, but this one sounds terrifying. It is like religious trauma, but make it horror. <laughs> And I read Hell Followed With Us last year, year before, I can't remember. And I had a really good time with that. And this kind of feels like that as well. Um, so this is kind of like where the society is. Um, there's like basically zombies, but instead of like zombie, you are like, you have uncontrollable lust. And our main character is a virgin. And there's gonna be something, I don't really know. <laughs> Problem is this book does not actually come out until tomorrow. So that means there's no audiobook for it. I imagine that it will be on Everand when it comes out tomorrow. So that'll be fine because Mayfly is on there. So we should be fine. But for today, I'm gonna have to physically read this which is fine. I do have sprints starting tonight here in a little while, um, so I will start this then. Um, but yeah, that's that's the update. <laughs> I'm actually home alone this week, so what better time to have a spooky themed readathon than when I am in a house by myself with five dogs. It's cool, it's cool. Derek is on a work trip um, until Friday, so you just got me this week. But uh, this is gonna be our first book. Let's do it. Hello everybody, happy Tuesday. I have a, a snuggly puppy here. Schmidt had minor surgery yesterday. Um, he, well, he had to be sedated to basically have his ears flushed because he has a really bad ear infection. And so now he's still, still very like sensitive um, and he's also extremely snuggly. So that is, that's what we're dealing with today. <laughs> he's, he's on top of me. Anyways, it's Tuesday and I have not read nearly as much as I wanted to, um, but a lot of that is because I am really loving this book and I decided to annotate it. So last night I read about a hundred pages of this and I, I just, this is just like such a quotable book and such an interesting concept that um, I wanted to annotate it and so I want to read it physically. So I didn't even look for the audiobook today. I might look and see if maybe I'll immersion read it tonight. But um, yeah, I'm just like, I'm having such a good time with it. I was reading it on sprints last night and I kept like seeing these lines and I don't know if it will hit or it will resonate quite as much for people um, that are not from a religious cult um, or re religious uh, cult adjacent religion. Here's the thing, if you watched the Duggar um, documentary, we, uh, we were not quite there, but we were adjacent. So like fundy adjacent. And that's how I grew up. And so that's like, I've done a lot of deconstructing over the years and I've done a lot of work in therapy and things like that. And so when I can see that deconstruction like live on page, I always resonate with it. Like there have been very few books that I have not resonated with. And uh, I, I am definitely, it's hitting the mark here. It's kind of funny because I was worried about this book. I didn't love Mayfly. I think I gave it like three stars. 
and I felt like the character was so unrelatable. And I think this is not the case here because I, listen, I just, I'm just having such a great time with it. Let me, let me show you what, what started it. So uh, page 18 is where I started. I ended up going back and then like annotating a couple things before that. But this, this was the line that got me. It's easy to shut people out, I've learned. You don't even need a door. That's so, so, so good. And then I'm also doing like all of the pink is for like deconstruction, religious deconstruction. The body is just another cage, like the house or the family or the church or the town. This like breakdown of a panic attack because of like the fact that you might have sinned. Jesus isn't the only one watching. I bolt upright, pinning my arms to my sides. I'm sweating. My chest heaves and my heart is pounding. That dangerous, glorious, sinful warmth now replaced by what I know I should have been doing all along. Guilt, a forked hissing tongue. That, like the absolute anxiety and panic attack that you will have. My first thought is that it's my fault. I sinned and somehow brought this into being. This is my punishment. That's where we're at. So I am not having a great day today. Um, I got some very frustrating news at work. Um, you know, I spent like 30 minutes crying in my boss's office. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I love my boss. I love my boss. I walked into her office and I said, I'm mad about something. I can't do anything about it. So I just need to vent. She goes, have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how my afternoon went and so I think I'm just gonna take it take it very chill tonight um, I really I just want to read this so I'm gonna see if there are any sprints tonight I don't know that there are but I actually might just like turn on an ASMR room and turn on my spooky lights and just like read tonight maybe crochet a little bit I didn't end up going to the grocery store which is a problem so I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner I think I have like it was supposed to be a lunch like because I just like usually get frozen um, meals for lunch I might just do that for dinner and then tomorrow I work from home and so I don't have to go into the office which is great I called my husband on my way home and he worked like I like I've said before we work in the same field so like he understands the frustration um, and I just like vented for another 45 minutes <laughs> on my drive home. So yeah, I, uh, I just need a chill night. Happy Wednesday. Um, I wanted to tell you that I am still enjoying this book. Um, I made it to chapter 209, or no, page 209 today. There are no chapter type, there are no chapter numbers. But I made it to page 209, um, so I have a little over 100 pages left that I will be able to finish today for sure. I am still very much enjoying this, however, I feel like, and this is like, I'm not sure that it's a complaint per se, but it kind of is. It's reading YA, and that's because our main character is 16. And yes, there are like some very serious things that are happening in here. We are talking about SA, we're talking about, um, I don't know how to say, grape? I don't know how to say that without like getting demonetized. I don't know if we're, we might be far enough into the video that it may not be an issue. There's definitely some very triggering things in here. Like if you look at, I don't know if you can see it, but like the orange, those are trigger warnings. And so there's a lot of them. We are talking about some very serious aspects. However, our characters are acting very young because they are, she's 16. And I feel like we could have had the same conversations, the same, even like the same characteristics of this very conservative, very naive, um, like sheltered person. But like if we have aged her up into a college age, trust me, there are sheltered, conservative, naive college kids. I was one of them. <laughs> because I, you know, was raised like this. Like this turns into, like at some point, yeah, you kind of flip the switch, but sometimes that switch doesn't get flipped until you're in college. And I feel like we could have had the same conversations, but put her in college and then it wouldn't have felt like a YA horror novel. And that's like my only thing. If we wanted to keep this as a, a high school student, we should have marketed it as a YA because right now it feels like Hell Followed With Us. This is like a very good comp title to it, but 
this is a YA novel and it's very clear that it's a YA novel. That's like that's my only complaint. That's the only thing that's like holding me back from like absolutely falling in love with this book. I'm still very much enjoying it though like the messaging of it is really good and it's it's subtle enough that it's like not trying to beat you over the head with the messaging but as somebody who like was raised like this um, I can still very much relate to it it still speaks to me it is my work from home day so I um, I need an audiobook because I can't physically read all day I can read some of the day but not all day so I need an audiobook I also have like some just house stuff that I need to get done uh, today like in between my work tasks and so I am going to roll again and then we're kind of just gonna simultaneously read and go from there we're gonna roll again yeah Okay, this is a five. And that is The Veil Thins, a magical book. And so has magic, five star predictions, um, anticipated read, something like that. So this is a very broad prompt. Like, so it can either be that like the book is magical, fantastical, or that I think it's gonna be a magical time. So uh, let's find a letter, three. And that is A again, okay. That, you know, that's easy. I promise I didn't cheat, but let's go find a book. I am going to be reading A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. I really liked Juniper and Thorn, but I've heard very mixed things about this book. Um, it's kind of dark academia, it is young adult. And so this one has been a book that is like, I've kind of been waffling back and forth on of whether or not like I even wanted to read it. It does have magic though, so it's still gonna fit the prompt. And I feel like I need something like this, like a readathon, like a, you know, in the moment kind of prompt to pick this book up because otherwise it might sit on my shelf for a really long time. And uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna, we're just gonna read it. Hello, we're doing a phone update because I didn't take my camera. Um, I'm going to the post office to drop off panko books, but also I stopped at Walmart because Fireborn um, by Rosaria Menda has a Walmart exclusive edition and I want to see if my local Walmart has it. They're doing all three of them like you know, gradual release process with sprayed edges. And that's exciting. And also my copy of the third book, whatever that, I can't think of the name of it right now, um, is not the correct size um, because for some reason, when they printed it, it prints just slightly shorter. And that is, just bugs me. Maybe this exclusive edition will all be the same and I can just replace them. A little longer than a few minutes later. The book was acquired, it was the last one. My Walmart, like we just got a remodel and it's so windy today. I should not have worn a skirt, but at least I had bike shorts on underneath. Anyways, they remodeled my Walmart recently and the book section is now like knee small, is is tiny, but I found the last one. So it has the really pretty sprayed edges. And the second one is gonna have the blue sprayed edges and then the third one has the green sprayed edges. And they're coming out like November and then December, I think, I think. But anyways, very excited about this. Um, and yes, this is a removable sticker. I was like, oh no, I do not want that on there. Okay, um, I also, mm -hmm. impulse bought something sweet. Should not have done that, but I did it anyway. Apple cider donuts. Um, I love apple cider donuts, but nobody around here has them. So um, I, I bought them. So we'll try them out maybe tonight. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I need to go grab some lunch. That was the only thing I did grab in there. So I'm just gonna go through a drive-thru and um, then go to my meeting. Hello, it's Wednesday night. Um, the lighting is really harsh, but I cannot be bothered to get into a better spot. Um, so we have just this lamp here. It is 10 o'clock at night, something like that. Um, I am gonna go to, like, go to bed, not gonna go to sleep yet, but I'm gonna go to bed. I do get to work from home the rest of the week, which is exciting. I did not think I was gonna get to do that, but my boss is out of town. And so um, the other person on my team was like, don't bother coming in like you can do the same job from the house and you know he knows that we've been having some issues with Schmidt so that's great um but I do want to talk about American Rapture I have less than 100 pages left and I I'm enjoying it but I am definitely like 
kind of bored at some points like there are there will be parts that I really love and then parts that are just like kind of dragging a little bit I don't know so it's not gonna be the five star that I thought it was going to be but it is still good um and there <laughs> I did create a color for the oh shit moments which I think is just funny um the most recent one being that the so there's these vaccine places like these vaccine centers that they've set up that the government has set up for the people that have this virus because like you're basically you're turning into like a zombie but like a s sex zombie that you're just like you know in a lust rage fit that kind of thing um and then the church has started burning down these vaccine centers because they want to like they they're like well it'll get rid of the sinners faster and like that's just crazy it's crazy there's also like the first time that she feels like she's like the first kind of sex moment that sounds weird where like her and a boy are alone together and like here's the thing like I had those I had all of that um those thoughts those those feelings as someone who grew up in the church and was taught that having a like being attracted to another person or like liking a boy was like sinful and you were not supposed to do that and it was like this whole thing um and so like I I totally get the like those feelings and I don't know that like everyone will if you didn't grow up in the church but I also still stand by the fact that I think that it should have been a kid in college because I think you still had that conversation you would have still had those thoughts had it been like a very conservative upbringing but it would have just been I don't like because this does still at the end of the day feels like a young adult novel. What were some of the other oh shit moments that I have? There's just a couple, not very many. There's one, there was like a, a billboard. This is more just a, um, just a funny thing, but I put it in the oh shit. There's a sign on the wall in this building that they're in and it says, God created man before woman because he didn't want any advice on how to do it. One person was like, um, they're like, he's kind of being, he's this like mysterious character. Um, and he says, hell is empty. All the devils are here. I think that's like that that you know was a great oh shit moment anyways those are my thoughts so far I'm like I said I have less than 100 pages and I would love to finish this tonight so that's what we're gonna go do sorry my light fell over I'm literally using my phone lamp um but anyways um tomorrow we will focus on a study in drowning get that done tomorrow and then I'll still hopefully be able to do a one more book um for the end of the vlog um but yeah that's that's um all I got for you right now I'm tired I'm gonna go to bed hello happy Thursday I have a couple of updates for you um but first we're gonna taste test one of these little donuts they're kind of cute also honestly um and you know yeah we're gonna try one <laughs> I was like oh I didn't do that yesterday after I got home because I got busy that is delicious that's good especially for like a box donut obviously it's not going to be like the same as a fresh donut right but for a box donut that's pretty good that's got a lot of flavor to it okay I'm not gonna eat on camera though that's weird I don't like doing that so I finished American Rapture last night I gave it four stars um, I do really like it and I do think that like if you're deconstructing from religion you're going to resonate with this you're going to see yourself in a character um and like just some of the things some of the discussions that were there is just they were they were very poignant very direct but i stand by the fact that this is a ya novel and that like kind of hindered my enjoyment a little bit like not that ya is bad in fact like i like ya horror books but i i went in not thinking that it was ya but i do think that if you liked hell followed with us you will like this book but i do have to share one more uh, oh shit moment. This is how the chapter starts, okay? And it is this, like, this is prime purity culture and, like, what we were taught as young women and girls. Um, every young girl and boy is born into sin. Does anyone know why that is? Because of the fall. Very good. And why is it that little girls are born into more sin than little boys? Because Eve took the first fruit from the serpent and gave it to Adam to eat. Very good. And why did the serpent give the fruit to Eve and not to Adam? Because girls are more easily tempted than boys. Yes, girls are more prone to temptation. We must remember, we are the wicked ones. Anyways, like, 
people may see this as like extreme religion, but honestly, there are people that believe this. So anyways, four stars. Also, the ending is crazy. It's It ramps up so, so quickly. Uh, but if you do like Hell Followed With Us, I do think you'll like this one as well. Trigger warnings, obviously, for rape, sexual assault, um, for death. Obviously, it's like, you know, uh, de death by fire. That's a that's one. Um, and then also like death of an animal, death of a pet. So that one also comes in there right at the end. That's my update for that. Unfortunately, I have another update for A Study in Drowning. I've read 100 pages and I do not care. Like, I just don't care. And our main character is kind of annoying. And it's kind of like, <laughs> I came to you at the, at the last update of this. And I was like, oh, you know, she's a little unlikable. She's a little quirky. And I kind of like that. She's kind of fun. And like now she's just, you know, better than everyone else. Why are you doing this? Why, why don't you have the same passions in life that I do? Blah, blah, blah. And like, I do not care. Just don't care. And also the narrator is not great. Is not great. So I'm going to DNF this. <laughs> And we're gonna pick a new book um, because I cannot be bothered. So I'm glad that I started, I'm glad that I read it, um, but it's coming off of the TBR. So let's pick another one. Let's maybe try to get a new color, a new prompt. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we have a, a six. I looked at it and I was like, a nine? How's there a nine on a six sided die? I'm an idiot. A six, which is the coven, and it's a book in a series. Love that. Okay, let's find a letter. Okay, we have two, maybe, maybe you'll focus. And that is an N. So let's go find a book. The only, the only book that I have that will match this prompt and the letter is Harrow the Ninth. And I don't wanna read that right now. Um, I'm just not in the mood for like a heavy sci-fi right now. It's just, it's not speaking to me and I don't wanna DNF another book in this video. Plus it's a really long audiobook, and we only have like a day and a half left. So I'm gonna roll another letter and see if we can match it again. That's what we're gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna cheat a little bit, but it's not fully cheating. Okay, this is a five, which is an H. Okay, I had a couple of options for this one, but if you watched my TBR Harvest vlog, I continued on with the Gravekeeper series, and so I think I'm just gonna finish it out with The Hollow Dead, because it's gonna give me another series that I'm caught up with, a goal that I've been working on for this year, and I don't know how close I am, so this won't finish the series, but it'll catch me up, and then the fifth one doesn't come out until 2025. Uh, and so this, and I, I'm curious about that one, because I've been told that this kind of wraps up the story, and so I don't know if maybe book number five is a spinoff. I really, really liked book three. It had this like new character that came in where like the ghosts were like attached to him and they were feeding off of him and like basically killing him and it was really interesting. And this one I think is going to wrap up the amnesia aspect of our main character because like she landed in this small town and she has no idea who she is, why these people are chasing her, um, and all she knows is that she can see ghosts. I'm hoping <laughs> that we will kind of see what happens and how that kind of wraps everything up because we did end the third book on a pretty big cliffhanger and so um yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna read this i'm gonna listen to this plus i know the audiobook is good for this one because i've listened to the entire series except for the first one the first one was not on audio when um i started reading them because her books were only on audible at the time and i'm so glad that they're now like mostly all on everand so this is gonna be a very heavy darcy Coates month because i read both of these now this one and the twisted Death. Um, and then the final Voices in the Snow book and Ghost Camera were on my Kerplunk TBR. So it's gonna be a very heavy Darcy Coates wrap up, but I'm okay with that. I'm gonna get some work done. It is Thursday, but I am working from home again today and I'll be able to work from home tomorrow, which is super exciting. Uh, most of my team is either on PTO or they are on a trip. And so I was talking to the only other person that was going to be in the office from our team yesterday. And he was like, don't even bother, like just work from home. You have the same setup at home. You have a dog that needs meds every six hours. Like, just go do that. So, um, that's what I'm doing. Which means that I get to sit here and talk to you most of the day. This is an eight hour audiobook. Uh, so maybe I could, I mean, I should be able to finish this today. I am doing some sprints with Brittany and Margaret and Neva right now. I was like, hey, I'm home. I know I never get to do daytime sprints with people, but there are three minutes left in the sprint. So I gotta go. So we're basically in the same spot, but I promise you it is much later. And I have actually gone and done things. Um, <laughs> 
I had to go get dog food um, because I was not going to have enough for tomorrow and I didn't want to go out in the rain. I've also like finished up my work and I have not done as much reading as I wanted to. Remember I was like, oh, maybe I could even finish these before sprints. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I've gotten like 70 pages read. It's a 300 page book. It's fine. I will I will read it tonight. Um, but I still I just have a lot to do and I have no energy. I didn't go to bed till like two o'clock in the morning last night. <laughs> and like not for any good reason. I was just on TikTok after I finished reading. And I was just yeah. Um, so I don't know what I don't know what to tell you there. I'm gonna start sprints in about half an hour. We probably won't go super late just because like maybe I can get some sleep tonight and then I need to edit a video. That's the plan for tonight. Um, but I got my stickers in for my Kindle and so I've been like cleaning this so that I can put, cause I had like a, one of these cases on it and it, so it had a cover on it, but I want to do the clear case so that I can do stickers and stuff like that and change it out and so that's what we're gonna do I what I didn't get though is like cardstock to put on like this so what I'm gonna do instead is just tape the stickers to the back of the Kindle so that's what we're gonna do for a few minutes I'm gonna watch a YouTube video and just kind of like get you know maybe I'll go have a Celsius I know it's late but I am so tired and I just need to get back to like a normal level um and I didn't have any coffee today, so maybe that's also why I'm so tired. cottage gremlin witch today and I don't even care um it's Friday and it has been a very long week <laughs> I'm not even like a single parent but like I had a single dog parent this week and that was a lot I haven't done my hair yet which is why it's still up in my little I got these cute new little like hair towels game changers <laughs> Cause I used to like just put it up in a towel and it would always fall, whatever. This is stuck here for a couple hours now. I wanted to come and chat with you. I did finish The Hollow Dead last night um, and I'm going to chat while I make dinner because it's not, it's not time for dinner yet. I'm making a new crock pot meal. It's called the crock pot Tuscan chicken. It's like chicken and it's like this cream sauce, tomatoes, spinach, it's gonna be delicious. I think I might have talked about it earlier this week. I don't remember, honestly. I know I talked about it on Sprints. So I just put the chicken in there. I need to season it. Uh, and we're gonna chat. Um, I don't have actual Italian seasoning, so we're gonna make our own. So I finished The Hollow Dead last night. Okay, I'm still giving it four stars, but it's my least favorite of the four. And I feel like the way that it ended, or the way that, like, the direction that it went was, like, really different. I don't I don't know like I'm not really sure how to explain it but it was extremely fast-paced and I kind of wanted more from it like this secret organization has been like the big bad since the first book I almost said since season one but that's not since the first book once we figured out what it was and who it was everything was just wrapped up so quickly and it's interesting because I'm not really sure how they're going to make a fifth book like I, they kind of set it up for you know a new thing the season or the like the book I'm trying to thinking of it as a tv show like it was like the season wrapped up the book wrapped up the full story arc really well so I don't know how they're going to do a book five I'm giving it four stars but it is my least favorite I mean like it was really action-packed it was really fast and it had almost more of a thriller aspect to it in like its vibe it's obviously still paranormal it's still a horror it was a little bit more like action heavy whereas the other three books have not been like that okay half a cup of chicken broth 
I'm just kidding. I just have the Kroger brand. I rolled it again this morning. Um, did not film it because I looked worse than this because it was pre-shower. So I got the, this is Halloween prompt, which is like orange, black, or purple on the cover. And then I got D. So, um, you know, is it a little crazy to like try to start a whole nother book? Yes. Could I have picked a shorter book than this? Also, yes. If I don't quite finish it tonight, it's fine. I will extend my vlog into tomorrow, but I am gonna try to work on it. So I uh, am going to be reading The Stars Are Dying by Chloe C. Panetta. This is a book that I just got and it is gorgeous. When I do not have food on me, I will show you what it looks like, but like it's it's the gorgeous like special edition. Um, it's just like a standard edition. Like I got it from Barnes and Noble, but it was, like it's still gorgeous it looks like a special edition okay now uh we have a cup of heavy whipping cream which feels like a lot we're gonna do some minced garlic it actually says like to just do two cloves of garlic but i'm really lazy and i just buy the prepaid stuff and garlic is something that you measure with your heart so um i don't know how much two cloves is should i know yes i actually started like I learned how to cook at an Italian kitchen. Um, that was my very first kitchen job was at an Italian kitchen. And so I learned to measure garlic with my heart. So that's, that's how my chef taught me. And so <laughs> that's what we do. And then it also says half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. I don't know, it's like really hard to measure those out. So I'm just gonna do like a couple handfuls. Anyways, I'm gonna be reading The Stars Are Dying, um, and it is a vampire romanticy. I get it, it's, I mean, it is a romanticy. I am about 70 pages in so far, so not very far. It is a long book. I think it's an 18 hour audiobook. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. That's all I'm gonna be doing today. I did spend about an hour and a half this morning making a thumbnail uh, for my swig video. <laughs> I, had, I had a whole concept of this. Is this video gonna flop? Probably. Most people on booktube don't know what it is. I don't know, don't care what it is, but it was fun. I promise you I did take my ADHD meds today, but it does not feel like it. I mean, I think it's just because I haven't slept well. Um, I once again, like stayed up way too late last night. Um, it was like after midnight when I was <laughs> finishing editing the swig video is fine. I don't know, I just couldn't sleep. I think I just have insomnia when Derek is not home. I was really feeling the, uh, what's it called, the sleep Per, not sleep paralysis. I can't remember what it's called. But anyways, it's a very common thing with ADHD where you basically just don't feel like you had any control of your day. And so then you push back your bedtime and you just like don't go to sleep because, and that I think is what happened because I started getting energy at about like nine o'clock at night. And I was like, this is not okay. So I'm hoping that once I'm back in my routine, then um, it'll be, it'll be good. Um, and I'll like, sleep really well tonight. That's the idea. It's 12.45. Derek gets in, I think at four. So I'll go and go to the airport and grab, get him. It made more sense for me to pick him up than to pay like $80 for parking. Everything is in here. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. I don't have a ton of thoughts on the book so far. It's basically like our main, all we've kind of learned is that our main character like had this, not a fair, but like she met this mysterious stranger and then she goes back to her captor who is also like kind of her husband. I don't really know. She keeps saying he's not my husband, but like they are made it in some way. He doesn't want, like he's holding her captive and he like has very strict rules. And then there's like a sex scene right at the beginning between the two of them. And then she's like, all I can think of is this mysterious man. I don't know how I feel about it yet. But I think I'm gonna put the audio book back on. I'm gonna eat some lunch and just make a sandwich or something. And um, I'm gonna put this on. I just put it on, I'm gonna put it on low for five hours. You can put it on high for three hours or low for five hours. But since it's only 12, not quite 12.45, um, then I can do the low and it'll get a lot more like moist and juicy and the chicken will like absorb all of the wonderful flavors. So you do that um, and then I think it's like 30 minutes before you're gonna eat it, then you dump a bag of spinach into it um, or half a bag, whatever. I don't know the measurements, but you put the spinach in and then I'm gonna put it on a bed of cauliflower rice. You can do that, you can do potatoes, you can do regular rice, you can do pasta, whatever. I was like, okay, this is already gonna be a pretty heavy meal. So I didn't really want pasta. I don't know, I needed something like 
carb adjacent, I guess. So I thought the cauliflower rice would be a good idea. If it works out and it turns out, I'll put the recipe down in the description. Hello, you're getting a phone update because I wasn't planning on filming in my car, but uh, I got here to the airport before Derek did. So I'm sitting in the park and wait. So I was like, let's just go ahead and update you. I am 33% of the way in. Page 138, according to my Kindle, because I went ahead and downloaded it on KU um, so that I could like physically read it too if I wanted to. I actually really enjoying the audiobook. I think the audiobook is very well produced. What I'm not loving is the book. <laughs> It's boring and nothing's happening. And also they're on a journey and I don't like journey books. I don't like travel books. The author is basically like trying to like throw a bunch of tropes at the wall, see what sticks. They like try to do an only one horse trope. And it was like, I don't know. It just feels like it's trying too hard. I am, I'm enjoying the writing style and the prose of it. And I think it's really pretty, but there's just things that I'm missing from what I like in a romanticy because what I like in a romanticy is the banter and the characters you know fighting and bickering and you know working things out and I feel like our characters are so detached I don't know like we're just we're not getting into the heart of the story yet and like we don't we don't understand I don't, I don't know I just don't understand the characters and they just kind of feel really two-dimensional also there's like this friend like her her friend who's a female i was feeling more chemistry between the two of those than um the actual love interest i was like oh we're gonna get a staff no just kidding that's you're just friends it's cool there is a dog back here um well, i decided to bring doyle with me to pick up Derek from the airport <laughs> doyle! hi pups he's like um not sure about this He's not like a huge fan of the car. Like he, I mean, he likes going on car rides, but then when we get in the car, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm not a fan of this. I don't know if it's just cause like he's hot or something or maybe he's just bored. I don't know. Oh, now my camera wants to focus on him and not me. It's cool. I am going to sit here and read for a little bit until Derek texts me and lets me know that he is on his way. Um, he like, as I was pulling into the airport, he's like, I just landed, which was about like 15 minutes later than I thought it was going to be. So, you know, I could have stayed at home a little bit longer. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to read with my cute little new Kindle case. Might as well use it because I'm like kind of obsessed. Friday night so technically the readathon is ending however I'm going to extend it a little bit see here's the thing I am on page 238 of this book I would have finished it because I've got about like three hours and ten minutes left of the audiobook and so I, I should have been able to finish it if it would have been any other Friday night we would have been fine but Taylor had to come out with a new reputation bodysuit which is the first time she's ever done that if you're a Swifty you know if you're not a Swifty, every other era has multiple outfits, right? She comes out in new ones all the time. She, she changes it up. She switches it up. Reputation through 132 shows has had the same thing until tonight. And so we were like, oh, well, that's gonna, there's gonna be something. So then I had to watch the rest of the, the concert. And so then I couldn't read. So I, I didn't finish the book. So I'm on page 238 um, and I am enjoying it more than I was when I talked to you last time, um, but I'm not like loving it. I am liking the like trials aspect of it. I love a good competition. I like that trope in a romanticy. What I don't like in this book is the romance. I don't feel like the main characters have any chemistry. I don't feel like, like there's a weird power imbalance because it's kind of this like, mentor relationship i don't really know but i just don't like nobody has any character development nobody has any um like any depth and so i just don't care about the romance part i like the politics part of it i like the competition part of it but this is a romanticy so i'm supposed to be liking the romance and so yeah um however regardless of how i like this book i'm probably gonna keep it because look how pretty it is i told you i would show this to you so i'm going to here is the sprayed edges and if you have seen my shelf you can't see it tonight because it's too dark some of my special editions with the pretty edges i've turned them around backwards and like this one belongs on there okay so we have that we have this back it's beautiful and here's the thing this is a normal edition like a normal first edition okay we just have solid gold edges but look how pretty this is 
Like the art is stunning. Like honestly, the naked hardcover is just as pretty. When falls night, the world will drown in starlight. I also like, I don't understand the magic systems here and like the different types of, there's different types of vampires and they, they do different things. They have different abilities um, and they look different. I could use an info dump. That's, that's what I need. Um, and it could be that I was just not paying that much attention earlier. I don't, I don't know. It's middle of the road right now. So, which is sad. I was kind of hoping I would love it. It is what it is. Um, but anyways, it's 11 o'clock right now. So I, I do need to go to bed. Um, but I will finish this up in the morning and then we'll wrap up the vlog and the readathon then. Hello, I'm a day late, but I finished The Stars Are Dying today. I have such mixed feelings about this book because there were parts that I really, really liked. And I actually really started kind of getting into the, the sex scenes were actually really good but outside of the sex scene I still feel like there wasn't a whole lot of chemistry like it was a lot of the author saying these two people are destined to be together and not like showing us the development of that relationship I think I'm gonna give it three and a half stars I'm gonna run it through my algorithm you'll see in my wrap-up I'll probably think about it some but it'll be three or three and a half so I don't hate it. I am going to keep it just because it's so pretty. But that's going to be a wrap on Scatagorathon. Thank you so much to my patrons who joined me this month or this week, this month, whatever. We do these seasonally. So we will be doing one the final week of the year between Christmas and New Year's as kind of a last hoorah. And then also my top two tiers will get an extra like 24 hour readathon that's not going to be Scatagories related. It'll just be kind of a fun thing. I don't know what we're going to do yet for November, but we will be doing one in November. So if you're interested at all in my patreon um no pressure or anything like that but we have a fun time over there and all everything's gonna be linked down below if you want to watch maybe the last time that i did a scatagorathon vlog played scatagorathon i'll leave my playlist of all the times that i've played it right here that's all i have for you today if you're new here and you have not yet subscribed there's a little button you can do so down below the video if you'd like to hang out with me more the links to my instagram goodreads twitter and my patreon are linked in the description below thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye